In the esoteric teachings of Gnosticism, where the boundaries between good and evil blur, one figure rises above the rest, Abrasax, an enigmatic being whose very existence defies the simplistic notions of light and darkness. Abrasax is not just a deity or an angel, he is a symbol of the ultimate truth that lies beyond the duality of the material world. In a tradition where hidden knowledge holds the key to spiritual liberation, Abrasax stands as a guardian of profound mysteries, embodying the balance between opposing forces. This mysterious figure is often depicted with the head of a rooster, the body of a man, and serpents for legs, an amalgamation of forms that reflects his role as a unifier of opposites. In Gnosticism, where the material world is viewed as a flawed creation by the Demiurge, Abrasax transcends the polarities of creation and destruction, light and dark, offering a path to spiritual enlightenment that encompasses the full spectrum of existence. The name Abrasax is steeped in ancient power, a word that resonates with mysticism and mystery across time. Often found inscribed on amulets, talismans, and sacred texts, it served as a protective symbol believed to ward off evil and bring balance to those who carried it. Abrasax is revered in various forms as a god, a demon, and an angel, each title reflecting the complex nature of his existence. He is said to hold dominion over 365 heavens, each corresponding to a day of the year, symbolizing his influence over the cycle of time itself. But beyond these titles and powers, Abrasax embodies a deeper, more profound truth. He is the union of opposites, the reconciliation of light and dark and good and evil. In Gnostic thought, where the material world is seen as a prison, Abrasax represents the bridge between these dualities, showing that true enlightenment comes not from choosing one side over the other, but from understanding and embracing the full spectrum of existence. His very name, Abrasax, was believed to contain mystical power, a force that could transcend the physical realm and tap into the divine. In one of the ancient Gnostic tales, Abrasax was called upon to undertake a mission of profound importance. He was sent to a world consumed by fire and wrath, a realm where the very air crackled with the energy of torment and despair. In this forsaken place, souls were bound by chains of their own making, trapped in an endless cycle of suffering. The fires that raged were not merely physical, but symbolic of the all-consuming wrath that devoured the spiritual essence of those ensnared. Abrasax, with his unique nature that transcends the binary of good and evil, was the perfect emissary for this task. He was not alone in this endeavor. Two other powerful angels accompanied him, each embodying aspects of divine justice and mercy. And together, they descended into the fiery abyss with their presence bringing a glimmer of hope to the lost souls. Abrasax, in his role as a mediator between the divine and the fallen, extended his hand to the souls, offering them a path out of their torment. He did not simply quench the flames. He illuminated the way for these souls to rise above their agony, guiding them toward a higher understanding and a release from their eternal suffering. But this was no ordinary rescue. The flames that engulfed this world were not just a physical blaze, they were the searing fire of ignorance and illusion, a fire that clouded the minds and hearts of the trapped souls, distorting their perception of the true spiritual realm. This fire represented the destructive power of falsehoods and misconceptions, burning away the clarity needed to see the divine truth. Abrasax, with his unique dual nature, was singularly equipped to confront this formidable force. Unlike others who might only battle the flames themselves, Abrasax understood that the key to liberation lay in dispelling the illusions that fed the fire. His dual nature enabled him to pierce through the veil of deception that bound the souls, revealing the hidden light within the darkness. He could see beyond the surface, recognizing that within the heart of the flames lay the potential for enlightenment and transformation. As Abrasax moved through the inferno, he did not merely extinguish the flames, he transformed them, turning the fire of destruction into a purifying force. Through his guidance, the souls began to see the world not as a place of torment, but as a realm where the darkness itself held the seeds of wisdom. The fire that once consumed them became a beacon of truth, illuminating the path to spiritual awakening and freedom. In this way, Abrasax revealed that even within the most intense suffering, there exists the potential for profound insight and the ultimate liberation of the soul. Abrasax's form is a striking fusion of contradictions. He is part human, part animal, part god, part demon. This complex and multifaceted appearance is not merely for shock or awe. It serves as a profound symbol of the Gnostic belief system. In Gnosticism, the path to true enlightenment is not linear, nor is it achieved by embracing only the light or the good. Instead, it requires a deep understanding and acceptance of the full spectrum of existence, the light and dark, the divine and the demonic, the human and the bestial. Abrasax embodies this concept perfectly. His human aspect represents the rational, conscious mind, 
the part of us that seeks knowledge and order. His animalistic features, however, remind us of our primal instincts, our connection to nature and the chaotic, untamed forces within us. The divine aspect of Abrasax signify the higher spiritual truths and the ultimate reality that Gnosticism seeks to uncover. Yet, the demonic side of Abrasax serves as a reminder that darkness and evil are not merely to be rejected or feared, they are to be understood, integrated, and transcended. This duality is at the heart of the Gnostic journey. By embracing both sides of our nature, the light and the dark, we can move beyond the simplistic dichotomies that often trap us in ignorance. Abrasax, in his contradictory form, stands as a guide for those who seek the wholeness that comes from reconciling these opposites. He teaches that enlightenment is not found in the rejection of the dark, but in the integration and transcendence of it, creating a unity that leads to true spiritual freedom. In rescuing these souls, Abrasax imparts a powerful and timeless lesson. Salvation is not achieved by rejecting one half of our nature, whether it be light or dark, but by understanding, accepting, and integrating both. In Gnostic thought, the material world is often viewed as a place of deception, where the soul is ensnared by the illusions of the physical realm. Abrasax shows that the key to liberation lies not in fleeing from the material world, nor in denying the darker aspects of existence, but embracing them as part of the journey towards wholeness. By achieving this balance, by harmonizing the opposites within ourselves, the soul gains the wisdom and strength needed to transcend the limitations of the material world. This process of integration is not merely a reconciliation of opposites, but a transformative act that elevates the soul, enabling it to return to the divine source from which it originated. Abrasax stands as a guide on this path, teaching that true enlightenment and salvation are found not in the rejection of the world, but in the deep intuitive understanding of its complexities. Through this balance, the soul can break free from the cycles of suffering and ignorance that bind it to the material plane. It can rise above the dualities that create conflict and division, returning to the oneness of the divine, a state of being where all opposites are transcended and the soul is reunited with its true divine nature. Abrasax, in his role as both a teacher and a liberator, shows that this path is not easy, but it is the only way to achieve true spiritual freedom. Abrasax remains a powerful and enduring symbol within the Gnostic tradition, a figure that challenges the conventional binary of good versus evil. In a world where we are often taught to see things in stark contrasts, Abrasax invites us to look deeper, to move beyond the superficial labels of good and evil, and to seek out the underlying unity that binds these forces together. He symbolizes the Gnostic belief, that true spiritual freedom does not come from choosing one side over the other, but from understanding and integrating both aspects of existence. In this way, Abrasax serves as a reminder that the path to enlightenment is not about simplistic moral choices. It's about the pursuit of deeper wisdom. He teaches that good and evil are not opposing forces to be battled, but complementary aspects of the same reality, two sides of the same coin. By recognizing this, we can transcend the dualities that often imprison the soul and move towards a more holistic understanding of the universe. Through Abrasax, Gnosticism presents a vision of spiritual freedom that is achieved not by rejecting the material world or fleeing from its challenges, but by embracing and understanding it in its totality. It is through the synthesis of opposites that we find the deeper truth that lies at the heart of existence, a truth that unites all things in the divine. So what can we learn from this tale of Abrasax? Perhaps the most profound lesson is that within each of us lies the power to reconcile our inner conflicts to bridge the gaps between the opposing forces that shape our lives. Abrasax, with his dual nature, teaches us that light and darkness and good and evil are not just external forces at odds with each other. They are reflections of the internal struggles we all face, and these contradictions exist within us all. The battle between our higher aspirations and our base instincts, between our capacity for kindness and our potential for harm, Abrasax's story reveals that true spiritual growth comes not from denying or suppressing these conflicts, but from understanding and integrating them. By acknowledging both the light and darkness within us, we can achieve a more profound sense of balance and wholeness. In finding the light within the darkness, we uncover the truth that opposites are interconnected. Each gives meaning to each other. The darkness we fear may hold the seeds of wisdom, just as light we seek may carry shadows of doubt. Abrasax shows us that the path to enlightenment is not a straight line. It's a journey through the complexities of existence, where embracing our full selves allows us to transcend our limitations and find true peace. Hey, we have a Patreon. If you want extra shows like the Intermezzo or the artwork from all of our videos, check it out. Patreon.com slash microphone therapy. All right, that's all I've got for today. If you like it, give us a like and subscribe. If you don't like it, that's okay too. Other than that, have a great day.